Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today, we're going to be going over the five different types of reactions and also a little review on how to balance equations. So if you watched the last video, the last video is about exactly what the five different types of reactions are. And so in your notes, what I want you to do is to look at these pictures and see if you can explain to me what type of reaction this is and why. So for example, right here, I have my nice little Lego man. And then this is my before picture, and this is my Lego man after. Which type of chemical reaction do you think best describes this type of picture? And tell me why. Next up, I've got Fred, Wilma, and Betty. And so you can see that Fred and Wilma, um, I don't know why I called her Betty. Uh, so Fred and Betty get together on this side of the arrow. Now Wilma is left by herself. Which type of reaction do you think this represents? Obviously, this is just a fire. What type of reaction do you think this represents? Here's another before and after picture. We have a house destroyed by a tornado, and then an after picture of it fixed. And then for this one, we have a brunette and a blonde who are a couple and then a brunette and a blonde who are a couple. This is like our before picture. Then afterwards, you can see the brunettes pair up and then the blondes pair up. So which type of reaction do you think best represents this? All right, hopefully you got those five. Now let's actually look at some real chemical reactions. So I've got two water molecules, and I'm manufacturing two hydrogens, and I'm making one oxygen molecule. Which type of reaction do you think best describes this? It is a decomposition reaction. Notice I start with one thing and I break it up into at least two pieces. What about this? I've got magnesium, I'm mixing it with some hydrochloric acid, and I'm making magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So what do you think's happening here? It's a single displacement. Notice magnesium and chlorine are pairing up, and then I've got my hydrogen, which is all by itself now as a gas. Okay, I've got C10H8, I've got oxygen, and then I'm manufacturing CO2 in water. That would be combustion. Next up, I've got iron and I've got sulfur, and then I'm making iron 2 sulfide. That's synthesis. Notice I have one and then I have a second object or a second element, and now I'm putting them together, so I have at least two things that I'm combining. Then I've got lead 2 nitrate, I've got silver chloride. I'm making silver nitrate and I'm making uh, lead to chloride. Now this already looks complicated and way more complicated than probably any of the other ones, except maybe the combustion one. That one also looked kind of complicated. But that would be an example of a double displacement. So notice you have your lead to ion pairing up with your chloride ion, and then you have your silver and your nitrate group pairing up. And that's what's making these on the opposite end. All right, let's see if we can balance these equations also. So let's uh, first, identify the type of reaction. So I've got CaO, that's calcium oxide, and I'm making calcium and oxygen. That would be a decomposition reaction. Now let's balance this. So I have one calcium and one oxygen. I have one calcium and I have two oxygens. So in order to balance that, I would need to put a two here and then put a two here. So now I have a balanced equation. What about this? I've got lithium, I've got hydrochloric acid, I'm making lithium chloride, I'm making hydrogen gas, single displacement. How would I balance that? If I put a two here, that balances out the hydrogens, but now I need to put a two here to balance out the chlorides. And now notice I have to put a two here to balance out the lithiums. All right, what about this? I've got aluminum, I've got uh, nitrogen gas, and I'm making aluminum nitride. Okay, that would be an example of synthesis, okay? And notice in order to balance this, if I put a two here, now I need to put a two here. So I need to balance out my nitrogens, that's why I put a two here. Now I need to put a two here to balance out my aluminums on both sides. What else do we have? All right, we've got copper chloride. Okay, this is copper one chloride. I've got silver nitrate, I've got copper one nitrate, and I've got silver chloride. All right, that is double displacement. What do I need to do to balance that? It is already balanced. Trick question, I guess, right? What about this? I've got zinc and oxygen, and I'm making zinc oxide synthesis reaction, okay? If I put a two here, good. That balances out my oxygens, but I have to put a two here to balance out the zincs. 